In this scenario, we find ourselves behind this huge, massive tree. Now, both of these guys are right-handed, so a backhand shot out of here is not going to happen. The tree is too large to allow for a straddle put out of here, so Brad, what do you do? Well, like you said, Brian, there's no room for a backhand, and the limbs get in the way of a straddle putt, so what I do here is just use the straddle position and uh, go to the trusty two-finger shot or sidearm where I can turn this, you know, problem, problematic situation into a potential scoring opportunity. So you're going with the little flick shot. It's just little a little forehand. flick. You d it doesn't get offline at, much at all. And, uh, you know, use a little touch, and you might just drop it right in there for a birdie. Ken, would you do the same thing or something different? Uh, I think I might get on one knee, giving myself a little lower release point, making sure I don't hit those limbs to make sure I get the par, but also giving you that scoring opportunity he was talking about. Since you're right there, show us how it's done. Oh. There it is. Yeah! That's where being smaller comes in handy. Just line it up, one little test run, and let her flick. Oh, got a little metal. But as you can see, it's, it's very doable. You can score from here. Now, it looked like you guys were using a slightly different grip. Oh, yeah. I, I, uh, I spread my fingers apart, and actually, it's a one-finger flick off the middle finger, and this index finger just balances the disc in the center of the disc and I think Ken does it a little differently. I put both my fingers against each other and those in turn hit the rim against each other therefore I get both my fingers power into the edge of the disc. Probably a little more power with that move. Sweet shot. 